Now, for, for years, the straight shaft was, uh, was what was required in all paddles. And it was when and a fellow called Andrew Bruce came up with the idea of actually cranking the shaft uh, to give you a better uh, wrist alignment that the first uh, bent shaft was produced. Now, when I looked at it, um, I felt uh, it certainly didn't suit um, distance paddling. It, it would possibly suit white water because as soon as you offset the hand, you get immediate uh, uh, advantage in leverage to uh, coping with uh, stroke work. But in actual fact, <clears throat> when this is set up for right-handed paddles, it, it's asymmetric in shape <clears throat> and in fact uh, is not suitable for distance paddling. So I had a little bit of a think about it and came up with the what I called the modified crank, which in fact has the first angle, but then brings the shaft back into line. The advantage you have with this is that the axis of the shaft is straight, so the paddle is perfectly balanced. You have the correct angle to keep the wrist straight, but you also have the big advantage of pulling slightly ahead of the centre of pressure of the blade. Now this uh, is like the caster wheel on a chair or a table. It automatically stabilises when you pull. It was really quite involved to get the strength built into this because as soon as you introduce a bend you have a stress point. The beauty about uh, the way we roll our tubes is you can literally roll on reinforcements locally at any point. So in actual fact you have the basic tube but at the grip section here you have uh, an orientation of plus and minus 45 uh, in the grip area that uh, conforms very well to the curves and, and you get very little fibre distortion. At, at the deep part of the bend here we, we put in another piece of plus and minus 45 and then a, a, a piece of unidirectional so you've got an immensely strong section at the curve, the main curve and uh, it's just not a problem with breakage with normal use, it's, it only breaks if it's been overstressed.